Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now today's vehicle is my own personal 2019 Ford Raptor. As you guys just saw, I did recently take it out to play in the mud. And yeah, it's, it's absolutely filthy. So even though that was a ton of fun, I do need to get this thing clean and looking sweet again. So let's take a quick look around before we get started. All right guys, so clearly the pressure washer is going to get a good workout today as the entire truck is covered head to toe in mud. The wheel wells are completely stuffed full of dried up mud. And as you can imagine, the underside of the truck saw a fair bit of action too with the mud having sprayed everywhere. So all the front suspension components will need to be sprayed off really well. And then there's even mud all the way at the back of the truck and up on the roof too. And as for the interior, I really don't ever let that get very dirty. So there's only a tiny bit of dust and debris to clean up. So given that, we'll just focus on the exterior in this video and we'll get the Raptor looking sick again. And you guys will definitely want to stick around to the end of the video to see just how incredible it looks. But just before we dive into all the mud, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you've got the bell on too, you won't ever miss out on a new video. All right, well, it's definitely a fair bit muddier than it was last time. So I'm going to enjoy every minute of this detail. So as always, guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, so starting on the pre-wash rinse here as usual, and obviously this step is going to be the most important one here as it's imperative for my own sanity that I get all the mud off the Raptor. And to give you some background on the truck, I picked this up brand new back in December when I traded in my 2012 F-150 that I had for nearly eight years as I bought that new as well. And while off-roading isn't something that I did with my old truck, everything changes when you have a truck as capable as a Raptor. Every time I drive it, it literally begs me to take it out and get it dirty. So me being the nice guy that I am, I obliged and I took it to play in the mud. Okay, so moving to these super muddy wheel wells, and thankfully for me, Ford is smart and doesn't use carpeted wheel well liners in the Raptor, though getting these sprayed out is still gonna take a fair bit of time as the mud is thick and really stuck on. So this was definitely one of the slower areas on the truck as each wheel well probably took a good five minutes and also involved me sticking my head in there to make sure the inner lip was clean as I don't intend to leave a single bit of mud on the truck. Moving to the wheels and getting these big KO2 tires sprayed off. And you may not know, but this actually wasn't the first time I've taken the Raptor out to play. I do have a video from a few months back over on the second channel of cleaning it up after it was all muddy last time. So make sure you check that one out too. But all that aside, the inside of the barrels here had about an inch of caked on mud in them. So I have to be very thorough to make sure I find all the mud that's hiding in there.
Now spraying out the box here and with it just being mildly dusty from driving on a few gravel roads here and there, it really doesn't take long to do this. And then I'll also make sure to spray out the tailgate step as well. So as I spray out another wheel well here, I figured I'd give you a little bit more background on the truck. So like I mentioned earlier, it's a 2019 Raptor and I picked it up last December. And right now it's got 5,200 kilometers on it, which is about 3,200 miles, because I really don't do a whole lot of driving. And in terms of the truck, I got it pretty well as fully loaded as they come. Although one thing I didn't get was the hood graphics because I wanted to see more paint as I love the color of this truck so much. And for any of you who don't know much about the Ford Raptor, it's part of their performance lineup along with the Ford GT and Shelby Mustang and is essentially a decked out F-150 that is purpose built to go off road. So needless to say, it is an absolute blast to drive. Now you guys might notice how well the water is beating off the paint right now and that's because the instant I got the truck I ceramic coated it with CarPro C-Quartz UK 3.0 and I also coated all the exterior plastic trim and wheels with CarPro Deluxe as well as coated all the leather inside and the carpet too so basically every inch of the truck is ceramic coated so it makes washing the truck an absolute breeze although unfortunately I don't have a video of coating the truck but when she's all cleaned up later on you get to see just how amazing it looks out in the sun. Now because I know the dirt likes to collect in the crevices up on the hood vent, I'll make sure to spray that off really well, but seeing how easily the mud comes off the truck here really shows how good ceramic coatings are and how dirt really doesn't stick to it as well as it does clear coat. So if any of you out there have considered having your vehicle ceramic coated, it's definitely something I would highly recommend as besides the insane gloss they provide, it really is a lot more enjoyable to wash a coated vehicle.
spraying off the front end here and again I'm definitely taking my time as I know there's mud hiding in all the crevices and if you're thinking that the engine bay must have gotten some mud splashed in it too well it did but it was only a few small spots here and there and since I had recently detailed the engine bay all I had to do was a quick rinse of those couple spots and since they ended up being further down there really wasn't anything to film. Now one of the nice things about the design of this truck is that I have pretty good access to spray off underneath including the front skid plate which had quite a bit of mud on the top side of it and I'm certainly not going to leave any of that there so rather than using my undercarriage sprayer right now as I usually would I'm starting with the pressure washer as I need to be able to vary the angle I'm spraying at and in a lot of cases get in really close which definitely isn't something the undercarriage washer can do but once I've gone around the entire underside I will switch over to the undercarriage washer and as you can well imagine, the inside of all the tires were covered in mud too. So I'm really taking a close look to make sure that I don't miss any mud. Now having one of these undercarriage washers is really critical here as unless I was laying on the ground in the mud, there's no way I could reach the entire underside. So knowing how much mud was on the truck, I'm making much slower passes than I normally would. And if you're wondering where you can get one of these, the link to it along with nearly every other product and tool I use is in the description for you. These washers come with a standard quarter inch quick connect coupler so they can hook up to most pressure washers very easily. Here's a look at the massive amount of mud sprayed off the Raptor. And in case you're wondering, yes, there will be a clean with me video on the second channel, including a garage cleanup. And I'll also include some of the interior footage as well. Alright, with the Raptor painted white with thick foam, I'm going around with a boar's hair detail brush to get into all the places my wash mitt will miss, especially up on the hood vent as dirt loves to collect in those crevices, but the brush also works especially well for honeycomb grills, so if any of you out there are looking for a set of high quality detail brushes, the link to the ones I use are in the description for you.
Moving on to the wash stage and for my own truck, I use CarPro Reset Soap as it's formulated for use on ceramic coatings and then I also have a dedicated wash mitt that's used only on my truck. Well, you've gotta love Mike. The guy tells me he wants to go mudding, so I take him, and then he only comes to help on the cleanup for two minutes. I have truly never met a bigger coach potato than him. Now to boost the gloss on the paint and maintain the ceramic coating, I'm using CarPro Reload, which is something I do every couple months, and this is essentially a silica spray sealant that can be used on its own, or in this case to maintain a coated vehicle, and the application is really easy, as you just spray some on, spread it around, and then buff it off. Now one of my favorite things to do on my truck is dress the tonneau cover with 303's aerospace protectant because it makes it look so incredibly good, but for all the other exterior plastic, like I mentioned earlier, I coated it with CarPro Deluxe so there's nothing more to do to it as it already looks as good as it can. Now for the tires, I'm using the usual CarPro Pearl diluted roughly one to one for a bit more shine. And after spraying it on, I'll just simply wipe off the overspray off the rims. And in case you're wondering, I typically just let this air dry.
Holy crap! Where'd all the mud go? Whoa! This thing looks so good! There's no way he got all the mud off though. Mitch had to have missed the spot somewhere. Nope, no mud up there either. That is crazy. Looks so good. I'll totally take his keys next week and take it right back to the mud. Get it nice and dirty for him again. <laughs> well, I guess I should get back to the couch. Don't want Mitch to know I'm out here. All right guys, and six very long hours later, the Raptor is done and it's looking absolutely sweet. Now, even though that was a ton of fun taking it out and getting it muddy, that was a lot of work to get it clean again. So probably not gonna do that again for a little while anyways, unless Mike somehow steals my keys and takes it for a joy ride, but I'll have to keep an eye on him. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.